Hello everybody! Today we're going to unpack, take a close-up look and test the Wacker Reversible Lens Hood Kit. So let's go ahead and open up the packet. So this is a packet of Wacker's Reversible Lens Hood Kit. It's for use with a camera lens of 58mm in diameter. And it's also available in several sizes from 52mm up to 77 millimeters. So let's go ahead and open up the packet. By ripping it open and setting the packet to the side. And now I'll spread out the contents across the tabletop so you have a nice clear view of all the items in this lens hood kit. Okay, so let me just swap the lens hood around, put it in the middle, being that that's the main topic for this unpacking. So there we go. So Items neatly laid out across the tabletop right there. So let's start off by taking a look at this card here, or leaflet of this Wacker reversible lens hood kit. Okay, so there is a fold out leaflet with Wacker's customer contact details in several languages. We're going to set that to the side. And moving on to the next item, we do have the installation guide for the reversible lens hood. So instructions there on how to fit the lens hood in normal and reverse modes. So it comes with a strap for the protective lens cap. Set that to the side. Does come with a pin as well. And we'll set that down to the left hand side. And moving on, it does come with a cleaning cloth or pack of cleaning cloth. And we'll set that down to the side. A lens cap as well. A protective lens cap. Let's pop the lens cap. Pack it open. And putting the packet to the side right there. And we have a nice good look at the protective lens cap. As you can see, there is a bar here, a hole with another hole below it, forming a bar to secure the strap or keeper or leash onto the lens cap. For extra security, so one doesn't end up losing the lens cap so easily. So the springs on this lens cap is actually quite strong, which is pretty good because usually the standard lens caps on camera lenses are nowhere near as strong as this, so they tend to pop off even with the slightest 
knock. So now, moving on, we have the lens hood in my hand. So this is the 58 millimeter diameter version, showing you with the lens hood resting in the palm of my hand, giving you some sense of size and perspective and scale. And, uh, and as I mentioned earlier, this is available from 52 millimeters right up to 77 millimeters in diameter. Okay, so as you can see, the pattern is of a tulip or flower petal pattern. Let's open and pack it up. Okay. And setting the packet to the side. Okay, so nice good look right now with the plastic packet out of the way at this lens hood by Wacker. So this is the 58 millimeter version. So giving you that nice clear look right there through the overall design. So it is, as you can see, pretty, pretty chunky, which is nice to see. So not flimsy at all, rather rigid, it does flex slightly, but in terms of the thickness, you can see this is built to take some knocks and scrapes. I'll just show you the tulip pattern or flower petal pattern right there. Once again, giving you that look. of the reversible lens hood. And as you can see, it is also marked to indicate that it is 58 millimeters. Okay, so we do have the lens cap as well. That fits nice and snug. onto the lens hood. So that works together very, very nicely. And you can see how hard I'm slapping down the lens hood and the cap stays nicely and firmly in place. So nice to have one of these very strong, grippy lens caps. And as you can see, indicated there on the back of it, 58 millimeters in diameter. Okay, so right there, lens cap, lens hood, and the strap. Can always secure it through this bar here. So obviously the pin helps to press the strap through, but this should be just fine. Pinching it and poking it through the tiny little hole there. If we can do so. And let's pick the pin to pick on the strap right there. Feeding it through. and then feeding the keeper right through. And there we go. We have a very secure protective lens cap right there with the keeper fitted onto it. So nice and strong. And you're not going to leave it behind. And even if it does fall out of your pocket, it's more easy to look for it given that there is a tassel or strap 
fit it onto it, making it more visible. Okay, so setting those items aside with the protective lens cap and the keeper and the pin, and of course the papers and the cleaning cloth. I'm just going to do some slight adjustment around here, shifting some things around. Okay, so we do have a nice clear view at the of the foreground right there of the Wacker reversible lens hood along with all its accessories that form the kit. So 58 millimeters. And right there, just going to make some adjustments around. So nothing is being left out from the view. Okay, so nice, good look at this Wacker reversible lens hood kit. Setting the lens hood down in the middle. Bring about my Nikon D3300 DSLR camera. And it's fitted with a Nikon Nikkor 70 to 300 millimeter VR lens, which I've unboxed on the channel before. So you can always have a look at the unboxing of this lens. Okay, so now let's go ahead and of course fit the Wacker lens hood onto this Nikon Nikkor 70 to 300 millimeter VR lens. which has a 58 millimeter lens diameter. So let's do that by, of course, making sure that we do have everything in the right fitment. So there is an adapter ring on the actual lens hood itself. So making sure that we're doing things right. Lens hood is now fitted onto the camera lens right there. However, to make it reversible, we just want to make sure that we're fitting it in the correct manner. So right there you can see that the lens hood has popped off and separated from the fitment ring or adapter ring. So I'm gonna remove the adapter ring so you have a better idea of how to fit the lens hood and how to use it in the reversible form. So you can see, ring, and inside there are ball bearings for snapping the lens hood onto the ring or the adapter ring. So right there, you can see 58 millimeters. Once again, let's go ahead and screw it back on onto the camera lens and right now if we need to use it we simply screw the, oops, the lens hood or pop the lens hood onto the ring if you need to take it out simply pop it off and turn it around and snap it back down. Okay, so a simple operation of popping off and popping on. No need to screw it on, even though it does provide those tracks around it. Simply pop on and pop off. And just to show you the camera with the 
lens hood fitted right there and I'm just going to move things slightly further out and giving you various angles and looks and there we go you can turn the lens hood to whichever orientation you require to block out any glare and once again to show you how to remove the lens hood simply pop it off snap it off because it does have ball bearings on there for quick release and reattachment right there so reversible should you want to remove the lens hood without using it okay so nice easy fitment of this wacker reversible lens hood kit in 58 millimeter diameter size fitment also available from 52 in various sizes up to 77 millimeters so right there showing you that difference there with the lens hood reversed and of course we want to make sure that the lens cap still works with the lens hood so putting the lens cap back on you can see nice and snugly fitted there and the keeper you can keep it around the lens right there with the band around the lens so it doesn't pop off quite so easily and you won't lose it quite that easily as well And now popping the lens hood off and turning it into the standard or normal position and testing the lens cap back on you can see works just brilliant with a nice and snug fitment right there on this Nikon D3300 DSLR camera with the Nikkor 70 to 300 millimeter VR lens. Of course, if you extend the camera lens right there showing you The maximum extension and fully retracted right there and just to show you once again the lens hood fitted in the normal position with the lens cap on lens cap off popping the lens hood off and fitting it back on on the reverse position when you don't need to use it and of course fitting the lens cap back on very quick and simple operation and fitment of this Wacker reversible lens hood kit So now let's test the Wacker reversible lens hood kit and show you the results.